this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a real kind of a fun design using a flat brush. I'm actually going to be using a 16, a 12, and a 4. These are all A Magic brushes. I do list my links down below as affiliate links so you can purchase through them if you choose. A number eight Deerfoot Stippler Liner by Westonia. All the paints I'm using are folk art paints. They are a combination of enamels and multi-surface. Using wicker white, red, yellow ochre, and happy green. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is just a real Real simple design, and I'm gonna to try to do it, get it all fixed. Put some of the engine red into my brush. No fancy, fancy uh, loading. And I'm just going to the glass with the brush. Okay, so I'm on the chisel edge, and I'm just tapping on the glass with the brush. And you can do it a little loosely and actually it's all loose. I'm gonna to try to keep my petals separated because I find that it's actually looks better when you do this so that you can distinguish and it doesn't look like you just have a muddled petal. Um, so just four or five petals up to you. Again, just, just lightly tapping with the brush. And see, keeping that space here coming around and if you have more space you can stagger these better than what I'm doing but I'm not actually staggering them real well because flower because of the limited amount of room on this bottle now this bottle is one that I paint on a lot for my videos not selling it because I do sell a lot of painted bottles not selling this one so I'm just using it to make videos with And I like the flat surface, that's why I chose to do that. If you're an experienced painter, then you can use my videos just as inspiration, I guess. If it's inspiring, that's up to you. All right, so then I'm gonna take my brush, and I'm gonna clean it off. Take my brush, dip it into the wicker white, just like that. And I'm gonna, and then I'm just tapping in now, if you think it's too much paint, you can tap, tap it off, tap that paint. So you don't have too much in there, that's fine. And just kind of come out. But I like it to be more tapped looking than wiping, if you get my gist. And just come, it's supposed to be any specific flower type by any means. It's just a design. Just something I created. All right. Now when you're doing this, you can come in here with the red and tap it in if you feel like you need to have a little bit more on top of it, then just come back in with the red and go over the top of it. And I can do that. So you just kind of tap it in. And this where you have different layers of paint will definitely give you good coverage. And you can just sporadically tap it. You don't have to tap all over the whole petal if you don't want. You want to leave some of that white underneath. Again, it's just very simple. And just work with it a little bit if you want. You know, if you feel like you just want to get a little bit more texture, a little bit more color to it, you know, feel free to tap it and do that. And 
But just think of the good coverage you're getting because you're layering the paint. It should be very durable. I'm just going to come up here and put a little bit more. All right. Very easy. Very, very easy. All right. So then the next thing you can do is you can go ahead and your greenery. I'm going to put this is the number uh, 14 brush. Put it in both sides of both sides will have a green, happy green, thicket. Just do a blending stroke. Like I said, I'm not fancy with the with the um, putting these uh, coats on. So, uh, or, or loading my brush, I should say. All right, so here we go. And I'm gonna just do quick wiggle, wiggle movements with. Do quick move, move, whew, excuse me, quick wiggle movements down. Very simple. And you can do these leaves together. Or you can do one leaf. You don't have to have two leaves together like I do. And we'll just keep looking at this and deciding where we need to add more leaves as we go. And if you would, or you can do the darker ones like I did over there. I'm just going to kind of run over the side. Now, if I were to paint a bottle, as long as it's a round bottle, I would actually paint it. I would not just paint the front of it unless it's a flat bottle. Like this type, this would be this would be fine. For just the design on the front if you were just sitting this on a shelf. I like to add lights to mine. They make really pretty ambiance lights or nice like if you want to use a light for a bathroom so you're having cutting in there kind of to give them some light to be able to turn on the actual lights that's fine too or maybe even use it as a night light and I do sell them with the with the lights in them, the lights are not timed. I had a customer get mad because they thought the lights were timed, which I nowhere did I say they were timed, but they thought that, um, and they're not. They're just just really cheap lights to put in bottles. They're really not anything elaborate. I'm sure if you wanted to look around on the internet, you could find something a little more expensive that would do more things, but that's not really the intent of what I'm selling. It's just to be. All right, so then I'm going to take my little liner brush because I want to do some other leaves. I'm going to put like to stick it into my paint, kind of roll it a little bit and then stick it into the other paint because I do like to use two colors. And I'm going to like say come out here, just do a little stem that has both colors and I can do one that comes down here Let me get a little bit more paint on it comes down here and comes down just like that very fun do that over here and you can do like three or four. If you like odd numbers, you like even numbers, you know, do however many you need. I'm just going to put a few on here just to show you what I do. I'm going to put a little bit more green out. And then we still have to tap in the centers and we'll be done. This is, again, very simple, very easy. And I'm sorry I say that a lot, but it is. It's very easy. All right, green and into my yellow ochre. 
and I'm just sorry I am just doing two on one side and I'm gonna just keep doing it till I get it done so I'm just we'll keep adding paint as I go All right, very pretty. I hope that I inspire some of you to get a paintbrush and paint. Now, any brushes that I use, you don't have to actually have the brands that I use. Whatever it is, by all means, use what you have. Please don't spend extra money um, on materials if you don't need to. Even color-wise, if I use a different color than what you have available to yourself, Please don't put a bunch of money into it, unless you need to, you know, unless you want to, you can afford to, um, but I, I just want to stress that you have a ton of, of what I'm doing. You don't have to have all the materials. You can use what you have on hand. So then I take my fine liner and I come back in and I just use it to add these little touches to the leaves and we'll just come in here come in here and I like to kind of mix the colors up a little bit use the darker you as you can tell I just kind of like to make them look really just just kind of move flowy they're light there you go. All right. So then the next thing I'm going to do is put in my centers. I have my Deerfoot stippler. I'm going to put the tip, or I'm sorry, the tip is going to go into the white. I knew I was using the yellow or the white for something else. The back end goes into the yellow ochre, and then I just tap some of it off. Okay, let's go over here. And I'm going to come in here and just put a big center in. If I feel like, you know, I can make my center as big or little as I want it. But coming up too much from underneath because it is wet on wet, then I'll give it some dry time and go from there with it. But you don't have to have huge centers, or you can. It's either way. And they definitely do not have to be going in the same direction. Your flowers can be pointed in different directions just like they would be if you were putting a piece together, a bouquet, that kind of thing. And there you go. Pretty darn easy. I'm just going to tap some on just to kind of give it a little bit like the texture. All right. Hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would, um, hit that share button underneath the video. Share your, this video on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. I am trying to grow my channel, and I would be so grateful if you would help me with that. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.